Hello and welcome to the next season of iRacing. We've got a brand new season coming up here. And we're starting it off with Arca. We've got a new uh, paint scheme that I just cobbled together. I was going to show you before it disappeared. Um, nothing different. It's <laughs> literally the same thing. Just a different shade. A little bit of a you know, darker black, darker purple, whatever. Um, I don't know how to make a proper scheme, so I <laughs> just wanted to update it a little bit. However, I could. And uh, none of the preset like designs really look any good at all, so I just got the plain thing. But we're getting started off this season with uh, something that should be pretty good. Uh, car and track, I really like. This is Legacy Texas in the Arca car. Unfortunately, the setup, I am not... I am not connecting with very well. It is so tight. Way too much understeer. I am having a rough time getting this thing to turn. And it's uh, disappointing. I was really looking forward to like balancing the throttle through the corners and stuff here, but it's just hard to even get it around the corner. So we'll, we'll do the best we can here, but goodness, it is uh, it does not want to stick down on the bottom. It is very reluctant to go where you want it to go. And uh, that could make passing difficult, I think. I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe guys will burn their right front off. Probably me will burn my right front off. That's what's actually going to happen. One more lap. But uh, not really feeling like the fun Texas experience I'm used to. Oh, so you're fighting it on exit and through the middle. Instead, I'm just plowing, and it's uh, it's disappointing. It feels like there's less I can do as a driver whenever I'm not able to actually like use the steering wheel and you know fight off the loose counter steer and all that. I'm just kind of just begging the car to do what I want it to do, and it's chicken flag, chicken flag. less fun to drive, but. We'll see how the race goes. We've got, of course, a very strong field to start uh, the week here in ARCA. 4.2k strength of field, as estimated by Race Lab. I'm sure iRacing will come up with its own idea of what it is, and it'll probably be off. <laughs> but uh, the more accurate number is looking like about 4.2k. We are the six car, and a lot of the guys we are familiar with have shown up here today. Actually, you know what is is funny, and I didn't even notice this because I wasn't paying any attention to it. But last season, in uh, Division One of the Arca Championship, I got fifth place overall. Just kind of crazy. I wasn't even looking at that or paying any attention to it. But I guess just showing up to these strength of field races and uh, you know doing uh, getting decent results. Worked out well in the season standings. I know I didn't even make every race, I'm pretty sure, so that was surprising. I don't I, I don't even know where these guys are getting like an extra tenth. Like I can't get the car to turn if I push it any harder than I did. It's it's a bit frustrating because normally I feel pretty good in this with this combo. And it's just it won't even turn, so I don't know how they they've managed to do that. But you can see the field here looking like that's about where we're going to be, the 11. Maybe waiting to qualify. Not sure. Here, he's the one guy. Oh, that's why he's taking a while. Six incidents in qualifying so far. So he's having a rough time. I'm just going to spin this whole race begging my car to turn, I'm thinking. So I, I guess the thing to do, probably, would be try to be good to the right front. Because it is just going to rip off this thing, probably. We're starting P10. 30, 35 laps isn't very long, though, so is tire wear going to come to play? I don't know. It's... Hmm. I don't know quite what to expect, to but... I guess we're just going to try to be really easy on the entries. The estimated SOF is... Here's the estimated SOF. A little, a little bit high. 
I guess he just says keep it clean. The DNF will hurt our points a lot, no matter what. I thought when I was in the league race and he said that, it's like, wow, can it actually, like, tell where I am in the league standings? Like, in our point standings there? But no, it just says that every time, so... <laughs> That's a little less special, I guess. It's just a new thing he says, based on nothing. We've got some cheese in front of us. And uh, we've got nothing to our inside, at least right now. I guess we'll just shoot for the top ten. Hopefully move forward rather than backward. My track record's not great at being able to save tires when it doesn't involve yawing the car out and fighting a loose race car. I tend to hurt the right front if a car is tight. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that in mind and try to counteract that, like... Rather than doing the same thing I always do, hopefully I can back it down properly and uh, not overdrive it. But we'll see. That could be invitation for somebody to come run me over too. So, the guy directly behind us has a B two point two license, which makes me nervous. But who knows? Maybe a short track racer who gets lots of incidents 16. through that. We're going to want to be on the bottom as soon as possible. That's for sure. So we're going to treat it like a short track, I guess, in that regard. You might be able to hang on a little bit from the second lane, but your tires are going to be killed even more doing that, and uh, that's, I think, going to be a big part of the game here today, is conservation, even with just 35 laps. That's 35 green laps, though, here in Arca, and uh, should be enough that, uh, like that cheese right in front of us, bring the grater to the tires. This is the cheese grater race, I guess. Find out if I'm right or if I'm wrong. Here soon enough. New season of iRacing. Getting going. Not the greatest jump. I couldn't see all too well. Line. All right. Hopefully, guys behind are ready to save some tire. That's what I plan on doing. As they're cold, they should turn a little bit more than they would otherwise. For now. Patient on uh, with my throttle pedal. Now we got a bit of a gap in front of us already. It's okay. Oh, someone on the wall back there. They were trying to go on the outside. We'll see how this works. Or if it does at all. We're definitely taking it easy on these entries. This guy behind's looking to wreck me. That's the B2.2 guy. me nervous. Don't know him, but it's trying to be very, very uh, careful.
we can get in some apron there. Not gonna be alongside him quite yet. Going to our outside. It's free to do that. I'm definitely not going to be on the outside. I'm kind of glad to get him around me, to be honest. Could be a mistake. Losing track position. But I'm gonna stick to my plan, we'll see what happens. So uh guy that's pushing real hard. I'll go up and get the wall. Got that pretty good. Keep fighting out there, but it sounds like he's getting real tight already. Just kind of what I expected. Yeah, he's heading right for that wall. Something's happening up ahead. Maybe somebody hit the wall up there as well. It's still very early, so I'm not too concerned about the gaps we've got. Four car coming up on us. Car outside. Guess he wants to go around the outside. Everybody's wanting to pass on the outside, I guess. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Pinching me really tight. You know he is whenever you can kind of hear the motor sounding like it's in your passenger seat. I'm just going to keep running my line down here. We chose to go to the outside. Not pushing at all, I'm just running my line. Running my line and saving tires as I was before he got here. Team trying to go around the outside as well. Still there. Go low. Big lift off. Keeping it by that white line as much as possible. Still there. Car in front is Riley. V12. Your lap time was 31.4. Still there. Hold your line. Hopefully these tires will really start coming in before too long. Saw another wall hit up there. At least some dust flying up. Side, probably hurting his tires pretty bad. 
Though the four got around us on the outside, and he's still kind of pulling away. So no big tire difference yet. Keeping an eye on uh, this 19 in case he gets tight and bounces off the wall. I don't want to be the next thing he bounces off of on the ricochet. Should that happen. Oh, blinks, okay. It scared me for a second, because like I said, I was watching for that bounce. All of a sudden, he was gone. We're just going to spend this whole race side by side with him, I guess. Slowly making his way around. I'm sorry about that, Paul. I gave you the spot back. Oh, I don't care. It's fine, dude. I'm, I'm off the pace. Actually, everyone can just go by. My car's messed up. Is he clear? He's clear. Finally. We're about halfway through this thing. Haven't pushed at all yet. Alright, Colton. Cup time's pretty consistent. Side by side ahead. Whoa! Almost contact, it looked like. It was closer than I... Or, not as close as it looked to me. But it looked pretty close. Tell my tires are better than the 19s. Stay low. That's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside, you can clear. So if we get around him, he won that battle but didn't win the war, I guess. Good old Martin Trex Jr. Though in his case, he did not win the war that year. But, you know, we don't talk about that part of the quote. It's a good quote. Starting to catch some of these guys, I think. P11, your last lap time was at 31.5. They're all looking super tight. I'll get very close to hitting the wall. Just getting no rotation on throttle, and so I have to back it down so far. Just to make sure I'm not abusing the right front. A little bit of apron, a couple cars ahead. Keep it together, though. Really hoping these tires start coming into play more and more. We've got no competition behind, it seems like. But we're not catching the guys ahead quite yet either. Just kind of holding even. It just feels like I'm not doing anything. It feels like I'm just on a rail. Waiting for, hopefully, my tires to help me out here. Wish we didn't have to race like that. Wish we could uh, battle the loose race car, but gotta take what you're given, I guess. Still about 12 laps to go. Just 
slowly inching forward, it feels like. Eleven, you're gone. Eleven, you're blanking like crazy. Just about up to the four car. They're side by side up there. Could be slowing down this whole pack. Oh, big wall hit. Oh, look out. Big moment there. Could have been bad. Outside. That is bad. And uh, we get ninth place because now that we broke our uh, momentum, we'll never get back to those guys ahead. <laughs> Sucky race, man. <laughs> hey, just nothing you can do. Just gotta baby the tires. We're not catching those guys with uh, how many laps we have left unless they have more issues. Even though uh, I think we've got much better tires at this point. Had to go to the apron to avoid them. Okay, Colton, the next car is Merritt. I mean, we'll try, obviously. We'll be uh, trying to put these tires to good use I do believe they are much better than a lot of guys but even so I mean there's only so much it feels like I can do I feel like my right front's maybe not as bad as everybody else's but it's still probably bad because the setup is way too tight the captain Riley behind is now 1.5 seven to go maybe we'll have a chance to catch up with these guys, especially because they're side by side. I think that's helping. The driver in front of us is Canadia. Canadia? I swear my spotter's on something sometimes. He just says stuff. I don't know where it comes from. Neon Green getting some apron. It's gonna help us inch up even a little bit closer. You can see how much more grip we have on entry. It's what a difference it's making. Should be able to get them on exit here. He gives room. I think he recognizes what's going on. So, not ninth. We're actually able to move forward a little bit more. Just because our tire difference is that much better. Okay, Colton. Push down. We're catching them pretty quick at this point. Something for the 21, maybe? Center of corner speed, just so much different, it looks like. Kill all tires, this car says. Yeah, this is the combo for that, apparently. He's going high. I guess he did that on purpose. Maybe. Maybe not, because he's holding us very tight. I just missed the entry. Not quite sure. Get around him. Suddenly we are seventh place.
Two to go. Larry's up there winning by a second. Those guys have probably figured a way out to yaw the car. Two laps left. I have no idea how they would ever even do that here with how tight it is. But they've presumably found a way. I figured they did by how fast their Q laps were and uh, by the fact they pulled away and are still that far ahead. Like they found a way to get this thing to turn, but I had not found a way to get it to turn. And that's why we are back here. But, not the worst, under P7, so not bad at all, as the 6 car, in a strong field. Oh, it's tight, we're heading toward the wall, Jesus Christ, even with how much better our tires are right now, this thing is stupid tight, what an awful setup, oh well, we'll bring it around, final corners, take our P7. Disappointing that it was so hard to drive, but Seven not in position. a good way. That's it. We're All right. take it flag. Man, I usually like this combo too. Good job. Oh well. Good job. Complaining's not going to make anything better. We'll give a good race. Good win. Oops. Good win. There we go. It wasn't so tight. We're going to share our uh, tire results. Hopefully other people will. Oh, Jesus. 53.82. Yeah, see, Larry found a way to get on his right rear more. And I couldn't figure out how to do that, so I just knew I had to take it really easy on the entries. Aiden, I assume, probably finished ahead of us. Yep. Third place. They're finding a way to get it turning. Look at that. 36.80 from Jeremy Austin 4278 like I just I don't know how people are yawing it out that's what you need to do to finish up here just 4677 yeah that's the difference if you push just a little bit harder and find a way to get the car turning then you can get on the right rear a little bit more and go faster and uh, still keep the tires just about as even. So that's how they finish up here. But since uh, I'm not quite sure how to do that, P7. But that's still good. We moved forward like I wanted. The tire saving did come into play and worked out, I think, how I needed it to. Uh, stuck to my plan and uh, got us a good finish and an estimated 22 I rating gained. So... I'll take it. Nice run to start the season. And we'll see how things worked out for others. Like, Jordan got spun. I think he just got run into the back of. Here's Nick Martin hitting the wall early on. Hit it pretty good. In lap 7, I remember the 10 got the wall as well. He was pushing hard early and uh, setup's way too tight for that. And he kind of like sat in the middle of the track. This one is going to go up and get the wall. There's going to be lots of wall hits because the car doesn't turn. Rob's going to get it. I mean, you saw the tire results at the end. Just plowing the whole run the car is. Just not, no good at all. 12's going to go get it. Ooh. Ooh. 11 gets the wall. That was almost a spin right up here, though. Okay, I thought the 17 got Jeremy, but I think maybe he just got the apron. Yeah, okay. That's what happened there. Anything happening here? No. Blinking a little bit, I assume. Here's what happened to Jordan. Or just runs into the back of them, and you can't do that in this car. Not even a little. Especially in a corner. So it looks like things kind of start getting weird when uh, Got Milk hits the wall. 21 has to kind of swerve down. And Jordan has a bad angle in the corner, so he's about a lane, a half a lane up. And the 4, just following probably at about the normal speed, catches him faster because Jordan has to lift off more to hold his line. 
and uh, Fort catches him, spins him, and then I have to uh, dodge down low. So that is how that unfolded, I assume. That's, uh, I guess how that went. Thankfully, I was able to get it slowed down and turn. Obviously, the car's uh, not very good at turning, so I had to hit the brakes pretty good in order to make sure I didn't get into it myself. A little bit of a wreck avoidance sprinkled into this race for us. Very unfortunate for Jordan. What happened to Lewandowski? Nothing. Nothing. Jeremy being chased by Gavin Rockchan. These are probably all everybody's tires just wearing out near the end of the race, though. And that's probably what incidents are showing us at this point. So, that will probably be it. Jordan's car is not turning at all. Because in addition to a worn right front, he probably has some damage. Austin's got a cool scheme. Purple. Justin up there in second. Nothing. So, that is uh, probably it. That's probably all we're going to see. So, that will do it for this one. We'll bring up the race results page in just a moment as this race finishes out. As we see the last of the incidents. There they are, crossing the finish line, I believe. Or uh, getting the white flag, I guess. Yeah. Now it is over. The 11's running into Austin for some reason. Maybe they're friends, I don't know. Or maybe that was an angry bump, I have no idea. Check out his video, <laughs> uh, Armed for Gaming, if you want to know the story behind that, I guess. Assuming that'll uh, come to light. But, like I said, bringing up the race results page so we can see the exact strength of field, our exact gains and or losses for I rating. Pretty sure we gained. Here we are, 42.17. Make sure that's up for you. It is. Okay, 42.17 for the strength of field. Larry gets the win. The number 9 gets the fastest lap, so that's even more proof that they're finding a way to yaw it out so they can go fast and still maintain pace and tire health, I guess. You can see how much slower my fastest lap time was to everybody else around me. 30.2 was my fastest lap. And the uh, next comparable guy is the 19 back there, a couple spots. So one of the slowest, fastest laps in the field. It's just because I knew that the only way I was going to be able to save tires was if I was really easy on entry. And uh, we get 2-2. Two, two, yeah, that's how you say that number, 2-2. Two, two. I got 2-2 two, two I rating. <laughs> Idiot. 0x, <laughs> um, 185 championship points to start this season. All very good and well. Happy with that. So uh, that will do it for this one. Thank you for watching. And uh, welcome to a new re uh, season of iRacing. I'm really looking forward to it. Got lots of fun stuff to run. And uh, we'll wrap up this one with our uh, at Arca. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you. I'll see you next time.